man. What's going on? Oh, are you just sad that your face is being covered up by my face right now? Like, I'm literally looking at your face is being covered up by my camera. And I'm sorry for that. I don't think I can adjust it. At least not in the moment. And the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked into. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano? Well, maybe not determination. But I guess passion. Remember that the club I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival too. Ah, uh -huh, I can't wait for the festival. Hey, you be careful, Anara. You're putting your paw nearby my fucking mic stand. If you'd done something, you could have knocked it off. We get it! You're adorable! <laughs> it's gonna be great! Eh? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica! Do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on! Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? Eh? I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because! It's right in your name! Mane- um, no, Monica. <laughs> eh? <laughs> oh my gosh! I, I'm sorry, I'm blocking her- like, it kinda looks like she's disgusted and just fucking upset and caught off guard. And there's an Inara here who wants to be pet. I love you, Inara, but I'm in the middle of something. So I'm sorry, I'm not gonna give you too much attention. That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. Eh, never mind. Hold on, what? Another fourth wall break? Wow! I'm in the middle of stuff. Okay, I get it. You love me, I love you. That's how it is. But I'm in the middle of something. Talking to some girls who don't even exist. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Sayori's anyway. Excuse me? Where is Sayori anyway? Oh, there you are. Sayori's sitting at the desk in the corner of the room looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Eh? Just spacing out again. Uh. <laughs> Sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything alright? Of course. Why wouldn't it be? Just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I have right to worry. This game is supposed to be very fucking weird, apparently. I'm oh, fine, see? Sorry shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Meow. Well, Alright. You say so. I weirdly glanced at Sayori before turning back toward everyone else. But the conversation I had already dispersed with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they've, been, since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approached Monica, who was shuffling through some papers at her desk. Zach, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh? You think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. You be careful, Inara. Monica peers across the room at Sayori, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there is something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Zach. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really liked this. She's always talked to me about things that bother her. But this time when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, oh, no. It's important to me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. Meow. <laughs> I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Eh? 
Are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just has a hard time bringing it up with a person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Zack. <laughs> Call out Game Me for his bullshittery. <laughs> me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but... Sayuri talks about you more than anything else, you know. Eh? She's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sayuri's always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it always has been. <laughs> You're so funny, Zack. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you. Fucking calling me out, bitch! Yeah. Ah, I said too much. I'm sorry, what do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Ah. Alright. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I also know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayuri is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayuri and gently talk to her, but she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayuri told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else, but that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her when I'm letting this weigh down so much? Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. And there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. <clears throat> okay, everyone. After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Why don't we share our poems now? Before I knew it, everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems, and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica, and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking about with Sayori. Alright, well, might as well start with Sayori first, because I think she had a lot of stuff that she liked about the poem from the one thing. Hmm. This is your best one so far. It's really, really nice, Zack. Er, thanks. Hmm. Sorry, you've been a little quiet today. Is everything alright? Eh? Yeah? Of course. Everything is fine. Maybe I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Do you want a nap or something? No, that's silly. Don't worry about me, okay? I don't want to see smiles on your face. Well, Alright. Hey, Zach. I'm still a little surprised. I really thought that you would try writing your poems like the way Yuri does. Just because I'm getting advice from her doesn't mean I'm going to write the same way she does. I'm going to write the way I write. Got it? Or even Natsuki. But in the end... Yeah? I guess you're the one who likes this one the most. Why? You don't want to get closer with everyone else. Wait, hold up. Of course I do. That doesn't mean I need to try so hard to impress them. I still understand you the most, Sayori. I know you have to be sometimes... I mean, I know you have to sometimes put up with me. And I have to sometimes put up with you. But we have a wavelength or something. <laughs> and this is how the poem came out. Sometimes it feels like you were the only exciting thing in my life. So sometimes it's just easier to write when thinking about you. Sorry? <laughs> no. Zach? I don't deserve this. You're too nice to me. Why are you doing this? Hold up. Boy! What are you doing, Game Me? You're making her cry! If you had fun with everyone else instead, this would be so much easier. Sorry. Glance around the room and make sure nobody has noticed this. Sorry. I've probably never said this before, but I don't understand what you're feeling right now. Tell me what will cheer you up. Sorry, she shakes her head. She sniffles and keeps shaking her head. Finally, she gathers herself and puts on a smile. It's nothing, Zach. It's just a little rain cloud. I'm sorry you had to see that. <laughs> don't. Don't do that to me, lady. Just don't. I promise it won't happen again. Just smiles for everyone, okay? That's all that matters. Go play with everyone else. I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sorry. Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. 
Before I can say anything else, Sayuri cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. Oof. Alright, well. Let's go on to Yuri, I guess. Well done, Zack. You've definitely improved your writing over the course of these few days. Has my advice been helpful to you? Yeah, definitely. I'm glad. Sharing our writing like this. It's a lot more fun and rewarding than I anticipated. I need to remember to thank Monica. I think we all felt a little awkward at first. But now it seems like everyone is enjoying sharing their writing and seeing what others think. I just realized Sayuri did not share her writing with me. Inara? Inara, she didn't share her writing with me. I feel sad. Come over here so I can give you some attention. It'll make me feel better. <laughs> okay. I guess I can't really disagree. I was afraid this whole thing would be a chore. But it's a great way for me to spend some personal time with all the girls in the club. But it's been fun getting to know everyone in their writing. And I guess doing some writing myself. Well, have you learned anything about yourself, Zach? Eh? Well, you know how I like to say that writing is a very personal way to get in touch with yourself. In the end, it doesn't matter if you're a good writer or a bad writer. And even my opinions are just opinions, you know? As always, I believe what's most important is exploring and discovering yourself. That's comforting. I'm kind of afraid of disappointing you in some way or another. Eh? Why me? Well, you're always sophisticated with your writing and have the most advice to share. Is that so? Yuri thinks for a good moment. That must be terrible. Eh? For me to have become someone whose opinion is fearsome. How unlikable of me. Yuri? You misinterpreting, bitch! It's not as bad as you're making it sound in your head. I just mean that I respect your opinion. I see. I'm sorry that I always overthink and come to those sorts of conclusions. I'm just a little too used to it. Overthinking? Being disliked. You're eh? What, what am I saying? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. Let's move on. Alright. Do you want to share your poem now? Okay. Here. Beach. A marvel millions of years in the making. Where the womb of Earth chaotically meets the surface, under a clear blue sky and expanse of bliss. But beneath grey rolling clouds and endless enigma, the easiest world to get lost in is one where everything can be found. Only one can one can only build a sandcastle where the sand is wet. And where the sand is wet, the tide comes. Will it gently look at your foundations until you give in? Or will a sudden wave send you crashing down in the blink of an eye? Either way, the outcome is the same, yet we still build sandcastles. I stand where the foam snap wraps around my ankles, where my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic, the breeze is gentle yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line, tempted by the foamy tendrils, turn back, and I abandon my peace to, to erode at the shore, drift forward, and I return to the earth forevermore. Um, what kind of poem is that? I'm aware. I'm aware that the beach is kind of an inane thing to write about. But I did my best to take a more metaphorical approach to it. You say that like you didn't even want to write about it. Oh, you haven't heard? After yesterday, Natsuki and I, well, it was amusing that we wrote about something similar in such different ways. So Natsuki wanted us to write about the same topic as each other again. As opposed to better compare the differences in our writing styles or thought processes. Anyway, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she'd want to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style. I just went with her request. But, while I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion, it can be refreshing, you know. It's good for me to call my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I, can, I think I can agree. Thanks for sharing. Alright, Natsuki, what do you got? Hmm. This one's alright. Alright? Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's, anyway. I see what you're going for, but it's just not really my style. I mean, that's fine. I'm mostly just glad that you're trying a little bit. Well, of course I'm always trying. Why are you so emotionally invested in my poems, anyway? Isn't that more of a compliment to me? Eh? No! Gross! It's not like I care. 
It's just that one of us in this club has to make sure you're not slacking off. Really? <laughs> well, what if you ended up just scaring me away? That's, um... It's not like you would actually do that. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of fun to hang out here, even if I have to put up with you. <laughs> Ooh. Bitch, why are you elbowing me in the stomach? Oh, maybe I won't mind scaring you away after all. I was just joking. Oh, I know. Don't worry, I was too. <laughs> How the hell do you call that a joke? That seriously hurt. Well, maybe it was funny to her. I guess it's kind of the point. I should really just watch my mouth around Natsuki. Anyway, Natsuki holds her poem out to me like nothing ever happened. I'll be your beach. Your mind is so full of troubles and fears that diminished your wonder over the years. But today I have a special place, a beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight, a sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you dream and that you daydream about every day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought I had left you long ago. Let's bury your memories in a footprint trail. Set you free my windy sail, and remember the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine. The fuck? I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you dream about every day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. But if you let me by your side, your own beach, your own escape, you'll learn to love yourself again. What is that about? Yeah. I felt like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice message for once. Besides, the beach is awesome. Kinda hard to write anything negative about the beach. Well, Yuri's take on it was a little more solemn. Well, that's... Jeez, she better not have said anything bad about mine. After all, she was the one who wanted us to write about the same topic. Ugh, you can really see her doing that, too. Making us write about a simple topic and then trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like I care. I just did it anyway. I almost feel like those two girls want to be with each other. <laughs> I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of metaphorical, too. There's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was good practice. Alright, now all we got is just Monica. What time is it? It's 5 or 7. How many? Uh, okay. Yeah, might as well do that. Get that in, into the last hour here. Hey, Zach. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people? I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I'll let Monica take the poem and hold it in my hands. <laughs> it's kind of funny. How so? No, not the poem. I mean, it's funny how your poems and Sayuri's poems have been getting more and more similar to each other every day. I'm surprised you're so in sync with her. Uh, do I look in sync? Glasses. These glasses are old, by the way. I haven't gotten to replace them in a while. Then again, you have been spending lots of time together lately, haven't you? Uh, I guess you could say that. Although we kind of grew up as best friends, I haven't seen as much of her this past year. Since I joined the club, we've been spending a lot of time together again. I see, I see. That reminds me. About how Sayori's been a little off today. Yeah? Did she tell you something? Ah, well... Zack, you haven't been flirting with her, have you? Of course not. I can't say for certain. About you, game Zack. I've been treating her like I always do. Alright. Just making sure. I don't know how much you care about her. It would be terrible if something bad happened to her, so keep an eye on her. Do not fucking throw up red flags like that, you bitch! So I has been acting so much happier ever since you joined the club. What could have happened all of a sudden? Hmm. Well, never mind. This really isn't the time to be talking about this. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Alright. The Lady Who Knows Everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather. Lost adrift the sky, 
victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search, I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains, the last dim star glimmering in the twilight sky, or twilight sky, something like that. Until one day the wind ceases to blow, I fall, and I fall and fall and fall even more, gentle as a feather, a dry quill, expressionless. There it is. There we go. Re yep. But a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger. The hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer. All of which amounts to nothing. There is no meaning. There is no purpose. And we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat and I pick up a gust of wind. Okay. You know, I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sort of things that give my life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. Ah, <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you'd know that better than anyone. <sighs> Trying to call me out, bitch. You mean one-dimensional? Oh uh, yeah, that. <laughs> Fucking hell, I told you. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good, or okay, or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything they went into it, and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way, and it'll make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out... Hold on a second! Is it just me, or did you say something strange just now? Eh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. Catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Mm. Stagnating air is coming, foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Don't you fucking do that to me! In your books, maybe! Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Ah, uh, it seems you're right. <sighs> Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she just went to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on! Ah, uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Hey! Don't say that! No! First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I don't want to force it. Who? That curious expression coming from Yuri of all people? Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier and everything's fine. What'd she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparation, so let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right, Natsuki will be making cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them, and different flavors. Can you handle all that by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. I need a drink. I also kind of need to use the bathroom. I've been drinking a lot of water. I refilled this. It's already about halfway done. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sayuri will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri... Yuri, you can, um... Guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I... I'm useless. No! It's not it at all. The most talented person here, you know. Now Natsuki's pouting too. Jeez, even I can tell. I guess I never gave Sayuri enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Uh, 
That may be the case. But if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that. I... I love atmosphere. Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk and focus and stares not into herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Zack. The one who is truly useless. That's true, I guess. I'm not, I'm not that useless. I mean, um, if you try to compare me to my four friends, they just play the games. They also do sometimes write. I edit videos. And I've been like starting to add in some more editing techniques as well. Obviously I've been trying to cut down the streams that I do, um, so that way the more important stuff happens, and if there's like silence, I get rid of that. And just jump ahead. Um, and I've also been trying to like add in some random funny meme-related stuff, especially green screen related memes so I can like turn down. Like throwing Jacksepticeye, John Cena. Yeah, I've been doing that, so. I'm not entirely useless, but I guess in this scenario I am. <laughs> Don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I'll be really appreciative of that. Ah, that's. Uh, is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Hmm, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I give, give to you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Hmm, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Zack may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore... He may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Oh my gosh, I see your face, bitch. <laughs> Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Zack to... What are you saying? It would be extremely meticulous work. If bacon isn't? Just what do you think? Guys, guys, let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Zack to decide how I'd like to contribute. Besides... He hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know. So I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said! I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Zach, you're okay with this, right? Yeah, it's up to you. Ah. Uh, of course. Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. Mm. Aren't Monica and Sagri already kind of working together anyways? Fuck. <sighs> Alright, uh, I'll pull out that number generator thing again. But we're gonna do something different about it. Alright, so I'm going to make it a max of 40. If it's anywhere between 1 and 10, then I'll go for Natsuki. If it's anywhere between 11 and 20, I'll go for Yuri. If it's anywhere between 21 and 30, I'll go for Monica. And if it's anywhere between 31 and 40, I'll go for Sayori. I'm just letting the game choose for me. Guess I'm going for Yuri. Well, I'll probably be most useful helping out Yuri. Me? Are you serious? And already this game seems like it's trying to set me up for trying to choose between Sayuri and Yuri. Why would you... Natsuki, I can already tell you you're about to say something to me. No. I'm just saying... Ugh. So you'll be helping Yuri then, Zack? Yeah. That's what I'm going to do, because that's what the random generator chose for me. Because I'm not choosing for myself in these scenarios. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sorts of things, so I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. 
Natsuki, will you be able to handle the bacon yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said I would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sour. So, is that everything we needed to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited might not be the right word, but I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, Zack? Me? I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it will turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Natsuki? What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. No. That's not what I meant at all. Yeah! E equals MC scared, Trevor. Why do you do that? No, I don't watch on the spot. You might want to watch the one that comes out during, well, during, after um, RTX. Because, uh, one thing, the RTX one's always great. Like, the last RTX one, they had each team was three people instead of two. Which is really good this one. Um, but this one, they have Ryan and Jeremy going up special guests. Against special guests. You know, Nolan North and Troy Baker. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Alright. So... I'm like, well, hell yeah. Let's, also, uh, Trevor, this game seems that. to be trying to force me to choose between the childhood friend and the Kuderi. Is there a Sundari? There is a Sundari. And then there's just Monica. That's the I don't know, for certain. I just know it's just Monica. I don't know Monica I don't know either. That's why I'm playing it. Um, <laughs> Something along those lines. She's also uh, fourth wall breaking. That too, yeah. She shouldn't give a fuck about that. <laughs> she don't. Yeah. It would still be funny though to see an actual Doki Doki Literature Club anime OVA. Like, it, that'd be funny. I could see it happening. It wouldn't be the first time I've ever anime. Especially with that kind of game. Because you left it in my spot. So throw it the fuck away. If I forget about it, I'm sorry. But that doesn't mean you put it in my fucking spot, asshole. Well. <laughs> I'll put mine in you. Anywho. Alright, I'm gonna keep going. 
the game. Yes. Uh, stop. Stop. Get. Get. What? Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. Yeah, I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Zach picked me. Because I chose a random number generator. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. They go really well with my tea. And nothing I do for the event will compare to that, so... So... I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. Why? Well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. There's the soon. Exactly. I fucking knew it, Trevor. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I said was and wasn't. But I fucking knew it. Rabbit hole for rabbits, which are like this big, rabbit holes are a little bigger than that. How the fuck are you gonna get in there without destroying the rabbit hole? Think about it, bro! Now walk away! I know, I'm not very good at it. And <laughs> Trevor is dropping off the weird innuendo ish, but also philosophical shit. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki isn't the one, only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Yuri's words. When she already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her own comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell if she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. Oh, I kind of appreciated it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. But I'm going to say this. Better bet that my cupcakes are gonna be the best part of the whole event. Uh, I believe you. Yeah, I hope to see everyone do their best. Also, I am kind of. I am questioning what material the fucking blazer. Not the blazer, the uh. vests underneath. The sweater vests are made out of. They look like they're made out of snakeskin or something. Or leather, I mean. But with that, there's nothing more for me to, for today, so I guess it's time for us to head out. Alright, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Natsuki out the door as they chat between each other. Um... Eh? I turn around. Sorry. I realize that I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. That's, that makes perfect sense. I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? I think that would be the best way, yes. Alright then. Yuri and I exchange phone numbers. Okay. Then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Eh? My house? Is that a problem? No, not at all. Uh, I just thought I would be the one going near your house since I'm the one helping you. I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind... I think I would prefer to go into your house. Alright. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decide not to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like it should matter much either way, so I'll just need to make sure my room is clean. I hope I managed to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Zach. I think that we'll make a very productive team, even if you only choose only chose me because you felt bad or something. Wait! You don't actually think that, do you? I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. Random number generator, but you wouldn't know that because you're the one who's the two-dimensional character. You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. What is gaming gonna say? I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. It's fucking gamey. But Yuri thinks to herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out when you are overthinking, right? Eh? I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I mean, Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it took her tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. Suddenly it's starting to feel cold in here. What the hell? And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, I am too. I've changed my way out the door and Yuri follows. 